So I'm going to be showing you guys some outfits to wear in the fall for Canadians out there because I feel like in the fashion community on YouTube, a lot of, um, of these like, oh, outfits to wear for fall, like a lot of those videos have dresses and skirts in them and that's fine if you live in America. I don't. I live in Canada, so fall, like you just, you can't be wearing skirts or anything. You gotta be dressed warm in Canada in the fall time. So these are for my fellow Canadians out there. Also, you'll notice I don't really have one specific aesthetic. There's like a bunch of different things, you know, there's um, there's some more basic outfits, there's some edgier outfits. I don't even know what you'd call them, but I just like to change my style every day and I don't really understand okay I see these YouTube videos everywhere that are like oh unpopular aesthetics or like different aesthetics and like it just shows you a bunch of pictures of some like different aesthetics out there and then everyone in the comments is always like oh my gosh I don't know which one to pick like oh my god I feel like I'm both of these what do I do and I'm just like um newsflash you're a human and you are living like a bunch of different days why do you have to stick to one style like lit I just feel like there's so much to appreciate from like different kinds of styles so why not just dress differently every day if anyone stops you and is like what like you were a goth yesterday how are you being preppy today it's like well you, you see humans are three-dimensional beings we got personalities we got likes we got dislikes and we can like more than one thing so here's just a little bit of everything of every style for you guys I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, give it a like. If you don't like it though, give it a dislike because we value honesty more than anything on this channel. Also, I'm wearing this because I'm taking a break right now. I started sweating a lot. Um, you'll see me talk about that later. But if anything, that just goes to show you that these outfits will keep you warm when it's cold out because I'm generally like, I get cold a lot so takes a lot for me to start sweating up a little bit and those outfits really did it for me so yes without further ado please enjoy the video i'm literally so nervous like there's just this giant lens staring at me it's like this giant it's like a cyclops is watching you do everything like i don't know how people just do this but here i go okay so for this first outfit it's pretty basic like i'm pretty sure most people would have this in their closet it's just like a white turtleneck some blue jeans they're a bit like on the cooler side of colors and just some basic boots like doc martens will do so this outfit it's fine but to me like it's pretty basic it's very cool toned and in the fall time the weather is it's cold it's chilly but it's still there's still some warmth coming in there you know so you want to have some warmth in your outfit also all the trees are starting to turn like warmer colors so you want to take inspiration from how the weather feels and how the leaves look. So I'll show you some ways that you can balance out like the cool tones in this outfit and make it look way cuter. Way cute. Why did I do that? I don't know guys. I'm really nervous. I don't know if you can tell. So here I've added a little spice to my life. Um, I think this outfit's pretty interesting because I just put on like a brown cardigan and then I got like an orangey scarf it doesn't have to necessarily be like brown or orange if it's just like any warm color it'll do i think it looks interesting because you see like the sleeves are like warm and stuff and like this like scarf goes down really contrasts with the jeans and that you, you can still see like the beautiful turtleneck and then i also added some warmth by adding like a yellow scrunchie yeah so really you're just balancing out these two things but yeah this outfit i think is really cute like even okay i got these on depop and look they're like from tommy hilfiger i guess so like there's a cute little h on the butt it's really cute but if you think this is a bit too much you could obviously just like take off the scarf and then just like like yeet. um yeah so <laughs> yeah so <laughs> Say goodbye to the scarf and still a pretty cute outfit but I'll show you a different outfit that I prefer all right it's the second outfit and I'm already sweating and now I'm starting to understand like there's so many YouTube videos out there that are like 
oh, like trying on 10 different outfits and stuff. And by the second outfit, people usually say that they're sweaty. And now I'm like, I wonder why. Like, is it because they're nervous? Is it because changing outfits is a lot of work? Or is it because fall outfits make you sweat when you're not outside? You know what? It's all of the above for me, so. But yeah, anyway, so I really like this outfit because I feel like not only does it have like some warm colors to contrast the cool of the turtleneck, but I also feel like the accent of the black is really nice. Like I got the accent in the scarf and then I got the black accent in the belt, which is like super cute. Like also puts some attention on the waistline, snatched. And then there's the black of my boots, of course. I also just really love like oranges and blacks because like those are Halloween colors and Halloween is my favorite holiday. But, like literally whenever it's Halloween, I just go to like Winners and go to the home decor section and get all like the spooky things and just put it in my room because like they're just so like, they're just so cool I think. But anyway, if a pumpkin spice latte was a human and had an outfit, like it would be this. Like it's just... <laughs> so yeah, okay. I'll show you the next outfit. Okay, so this outfit is a little bit more snazzy, but it's pretty subtle in my opinion. Still stylish, but subtle. Uh, basically, we got the warmth coming from the red tones in this. I got a turtleneck that's like got some red and orange stripes on it. And I got some shoes on that are black and red. And my scrunchie is like a dark red. I don't know if you can see it. Also, some warm colors coming from the graphic on this Stranger Things t-shirt. And then what's contrasting really well with it, I think, is the blue jeans, because these are like really blue. So it's just, it goes really well, like when it's alongside the warmth of these sleeves, the warmth of the red colors going on in this fit. And yeah, I don't know, the black is just a nice way to like, it's the mediator between the warmth of the red and the cool tones of the blue, if you will. <laughs> I would usually pair this with like a mustard yellow top and um, a mustard yellow scrunchie, the same one I was wearing like a couple outfits back because, I don't know, I feel like it's really cute that way because you got like two warmths against the cool tones and I just kind of feel like Winnie the Pooh when I'm wearing it like that. So if you have like a mustard yellow t-shirt, I would definitely pair it over top of like a, a warm tone striped turtleneck and like just have a matching scrunchie with either of the colors. So yeah, this is another outfit. It's a little bit too subtle for me, but well, let's see how it looks with the jacket on. I'm gonna see. No. I tried on with the jacket, it doesn't look good. I don't know what I was thinking. Like it has these sleeves. These are like the main point of the outfit. You're wearing a coat, right? Cause that's what you do in Canada. You're wearing a coat, you go in a building and you take off the coat. And it's like, you're like a butterfly coming out of its cocoon. Like you're like, look at the sleeves I got. And everyone's like, whoa. Um, this one's more of like a kind of like badass army girl vibes, that's what it gives me. I'm just wearing like a basic like striped t-shirt, um, an army jacket, some cargo pants, black cargo pants, I think that's what they're called, Kim Possible pants but black, and some platform high heels just to make me look even more badass because like, I don't know, everyone calls me cute because I'm pretty short. And that's fine, I like being cute, but sometimes I just want to be like a bit more like of a, of a, of a boss ass bitch, you know? So yeah, um, I got this belt on that has holes in it, and you know, I don't know what these belts are called, but um, I like this because it, it kind of matches like these little hole things on my heels, I don't know if you can see them. This is kind of like a warmish green, I think, right? It is. And then, I don't know, like, I guess like black is kind of our accent here, that's what we're doing. Like do contrasting things and mix cool and warm colors together to make something nice. And this outfit's also nice because it has like a lot of pockets and I feel like girls know that um, <laughs> none of our freaking pants have any pockets or if we do they're like this big and if you've ever worn guy pants before the pockets are like this. Like I swear to god it's just places trying to make us like 
by person. It's like you, no, no, don't buy into that. Um, but yeah, if you think that the chain is a bit too much, I can show you what it looks like without the chain. I like the chain, but you know, you can also pair it with um, like a, a chain necklace or something or a, like some safety pin earrings, that'd be cute. So this is it without the chain. Still a super cute outfit. These heels are to die for. Platform shoes are really big. Now, I ordered a couple online and I'm waiting for them to come in. I actually would have had way more outfits if I just waited for my mail to come in, but I wanted to do this now. Um, so, yeah, I'll maybe I'll post another video when my mail comes in and I get even more clothes. Because, yeah, I just think platform shoes are really, really, really cute. It's a nice way to make yourself look a bit more intimidating to people who are always looking down on you because you're so short. Anyway, I'll show you the next outfit. So I think this outfit is really cool and interesting. I really like the contrasting colors and like the contrasting styles. Like I think the scorchy and the earrings just make this look kind of like feminine and girly, but then the leather jacket the pants, like they, it just makes it look a bit more like badass. I really like, like the balance between those two. If you look up close, like it's just, it's just really nice. I just think that it's like, like the pop of color here and how it matches the accessories I'm wearing. I just think it looks really good. Like, um, if you're wearing like a shirt that has like a pop of color like this, that is your accent color, I guess. Like whatever the minor color is, that's what I usually use for the accessories just because you you add more attention to it and like because most of my shirt is just purple like adding these yellow details really makes this pop out a bit more so yeah i just think it's really cute yeah i, I don't know like i just feel like this is this is like 80s like maybe yeah th this is pretty 80s don't you think like apparently scrunchies weren't invented until like the 90s pretty neat like it, i don't know if this is 80s or 90s i don't know but it, it gives me something like it's not this, it's not 2020, it's 80s, 90s, 1864, I don't know, one of those. Also, I just want to say if you don't have any like black cargo pants, both of the outfits I showed you would work with just some black jeans or like, even with leggings. I've done this outfit with leggings before, it looks fine. But yeah, there's some style ideas for you. Now let's go to the next outfit. I love this outfit a lot. I think it's really interesting. Like, I don't know, I usually don't wear patterns on patterns, but this one just wear patterns on patterns. I don't know why I did that, but anyway, I just think it works because it's like, the pants are clearly like black with white checkered patterns on it. A checkered pattern is on this black, these black pants. That's what's going on here. And then for the long sleeve turtleneck shirt, you can tell it's black with white stripes. There's two patterns going on here, but they're basically the same. But then the shirt is like mostly black with um, like a white graphic on it. So it just works. And then my shoes are just some black high top vans, but honestly it would work with anything that's black with some white detailing. Even I wore it with checkered vans and it, it looked pretty good. So I think this outfit is a more interesting take on wearing patterned turtlenecks with short sleeves because there's another pattern going on here, but it it like matches this. Yeah, I feel like turtlenecks honestly like are really, like they're a big trend right now. Whether that be wearing them alone or wearing them under a t-shirt, they're just, they're a really good way to like layer on things or just wear by themselves. I really recommend having some sort of patterned turtleneck or just a basic turtleneck. You can do so much with them. I think it's just a unique thing to see two patterns being kind of like in the same thing, but then the the white space is what really makes the contrast. I think it's kind of a unique way to create contrast in an outfit. So yeah, I love this one. Just to show you guys, this outfit I think also works with just some normal black plaid pants that everybody has right now. I didn't put on any shoes because I just took off the vans. I didn't want to put them back on, okay? They're hard to do, you know, you gotta do them up. You can't just slip them off. You gotta be like, you know, cause you don't wanna ruin them. But anyway, yeah, so I think it works with this. I'll show you guys the next outfit now. 
I love this fit so much. I just think it's so feminine and so cute and I think that pink and white go really good together because they're both like pretty innocent like colors so together they just they look really cute like I feel like a bubblegum woman. <laughs> I feel like a bubblegum bitch right now, okay? I also, I really like this baby choker thing. I got it off of Depop. Like I would try and wear it with like edgier outfits, but I just feel like I don't have a lot of outfits that have this kind of peachy tone in it. And then I was like, you know what? Like as I was making this video and coming up with some outfits, I was like, is it pink like a peachy tone? So I just figured, and also they're babies and it kind of goes with like the innocent theme, you know? I would also probably pair these with some white platform shoes. I would have done that, but I'm waiting for them to come in the mail. So these black bands, I guess, will do it because it has some white detailing on them. Also, skinny jeans, you know they're not that comfortable. I would probably also pair these with some baggier white pants, but I'm also waiting for those to come in the mail. But it's fine, you get the concept, you know? Like, these outfits, you could copy or you could just take inspiration from them. Whatever you want to do. These look so good with some white platform shoes. I cannot wait until they come in, oh my gosh. This one is pretty similar to, um, I don't know, that other one I showed with the with the white turtleneck. It's, it's kind of like the reverse version of this. But I still think it's cute. I still think it's very fall-like. I think that the really warm colors look good on the coolest color, white. Is white the coolest color? I don't know. But I just think it looks good. Um, and another thing you could do is just swap the cardigan for a scarf. I think that's what I did last time. I don't know. I filmed that a while ago. So this is what it looks like with the orange scarf I have that has black detailing on it. I like this because it matches the shoes and it just looks, it looks really fun. And this scarf is reversible. Honestly, thank you, mom. She got me this and it's just, it's everything. And my hair is honestly getting so frizzy because of this. It's okay though, I'm honestly having so much fun. Uh, so yeah, it looks good like this too. I like it, I like it more, honestly, with like the orange accent. I feel like when it's mostly black and a little bit of orange, it looks more like Halloween-y, you know? So yeah, here's just another basic outfit. It's always good to have some basic outfit options, you know, because you never know when you're gonna have dinner with the family or when you have to go to a, like an interview or something. You know, even if you don't like dressing up basic, there's a time for it. Okay, so I'm gonna do one last outfit. It's an experimental outfit. I have not tried it out yet. Like, I just kind of thought of it and I was like, mm, I don't know how it's gonna look, but I'm gonna show you guys because you know what is important about like, fashion and making your own outfits is that you want to experiment sometimes, okay? And it's a good way to build your confidence. If you put it on and you feel like it doesn't work, it's not nice, at least you tried it, you know? And it's a good way to not care what other people think. Dressing to expressing, not dressing to impressing. Try out things. So I'm going to do it with you, all right? If you're still a little scared, I'm gonna experiment with you today. I'll show you how it looks. Yeah, I'll show you my experimental outfit. <laughs> So here's the fit. I actually kind of like it. I know it's a lot, but it's just, it seems like it would be a Halloween costume. Honestly, it is. I literally wore this dress for Halloween one year, but like I would probably wear this in public. I think it's really cute. Like I know I said no dresses and stuff, but as I was like making this video, I saw these tights in my closet from a different Halloween costume I wore. And I was like, you know what? Like if you put, if you paired tights with this dress, like this outfit will work. And I was like, well, here's some tights, like here we go. And it's pretty nice. And for my earrings. Okay, funny story. This is actually my wisdom tooth. I made earrings out of them, but the other one went missing one night when I, um, I partied a little bit too hard. Um, so I just made, I literally just made this safety pin earring right now. They're really easy to make. Um, there's tutorials on YouTube. If, if you want to see one, let me know, but I don't even think anyone's watching this, but if you are, thank you. I appreciate it. But anyway, so yeah, there's my, here's my wisdom tooth earring, a safety pin, 
Ouija board dress. I got it Spirit Halloween. And yeah, just my badass heels. Thank you for being here to witness my experimentation. If I could go out in public right now, I would be wearing this. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I would. And if I can wear this in public, I wanna inspire you guys to experiment with fashion as well. Like, do what you want and don't care what other people think. Like, you're doing it for you. Dress like how you feel that day. Dress whatever style you're into that day because for me personally, obviously my moods switch depending on the day, but also just like what style I'm into. Um, switches depending on the day. I even have these perfumes. One of them smells more sweet and one of them is a little bit more spicy and I, when I'm feeling more sweet, I'll wear the sweet one and if, when I feel like more sassy, I'll wear like the, the spicy one. So, you know, it's really fun to get in tune with your emotions that way and don't do it for other people. Who cares about other people? You could be, happiness comes from within, right? Thank you guys so much for watching, even if you just like skip to the end, um, thank you anyway because you clicked on this video, that's what matters. I really hope that I reach some of my fellow Canadians out there or anyone who lives anywhere with cold weather. It was really fun to make this video, honestly I had so much fun, like I just kept on making outfits and I really wouldn't stop. <laughs> I still have so many other outfits that I would love to show you guys, so if you want to see more, like let me know. I'll probably just make another one anyway, um, but yeah, thank you. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments, like this video, give me a message, leave me an angry comment, and tell me why you didn't like it. If you didn't like it, thanks for stopping me. Goodbye.